Howdy YouTubers and welcome back to Drawing Stuff with Paul Yakeman. What I'm doing here is drawing two Terminator skulls. One is facing forward and one is side on. And what is good about this video is I recorded a B-roll as the A-roll is blurry. I have a backup. So I'll be putting a lot more B-roll in here like this image here than I normally would. Uh, the initial sketch is an HB mechanical pencil which I follow up with an Artline 220.2 fine liner and then I finish things up with coping markers and a white gel pen and I've got chapters to help you out. To begin I draw some bounding boxes and then start with the board facing terminator skull. I was planning to draw the skull only and then I got in the swing of things and I added some body parts. And once I add in the lines for the forward facing T100, I start on the side view. Side view skull is on the left as we can see, and you just saw I stuffed up the eye originally, so I had to erase it and put it in where it actually is. So what's the point of using guidelines if you don't follow them? No point. As I add in detail here, especially especially for the nose, the detail is implied and you'll know I'm a big fan of implying detail and letting the viewer's brain fill in the nitty gritty. So the whole point of this sort of drawing is not to be photo accurate, although that's fine if you want to do that. So I don't add any shading into my sketch uh, with the pencil, but you can see I'm doing that with the line art, I'm sort of adding grit to the drawing as well. Uh, that's one reason why I left in the uh, grey lead after I did the line art, so I don't erase it. Does that to the overall feel of dirtiness which I'm going for. So here, inking the grey lead pencil and then adding uh, depth and shading to the image all with the point two now that's done let's move on to some coloring in so I chose my warm gray Copics this adds a brownish hue to the drawing and supports the dirty look that I was going for and despite swatching my art line 220 and it's supposedly not being smudged by my alcohol markers which you can normally double check um, today I saw quite a bit of smudging. Uh, that doesn't really matter, at least today, because it just adds to the dirty, worn look of the Terminators. And as I colour, I go darker with my warm greys until I am happy with the look. And for the teeth, you may have seen, I just put a single yellow line for each uh, of the skulls, and that was all I needed. So I finish up with the W7 marker and then add a thick outline to the terminators for the elements that are in front of the others. And I could have probably left things there, but I decided to add a bright blue background which just clashes with the dirty look. So a bit of a mistake. Uh, to complement the background, I added some light blue reflections to the terminators and then I finished things up with a white gel pen. Uh, highlighting various things and fixing the skulls. Right, so here's the final image scanned in and here's the photo manipulation afterwards. So the flame there is just a little um, flame image I have. Just multiply paste it into the image and rotate it a few times and that's that. Yeah, so if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you got some ideas for your own sketchbook or uh, you want to have a go doing Terminator, let me know. Um, and oh yeah, subscribe, like and share. Until next time, you've been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yeaman. Ciao!